day students. My name is Fanny Sunday Olateju, your literature in English teacher. Our topic today is the analysis of African novel titled Faceless by Amadako, a female Ghanaian writer. Lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to discuss the characters and role in the novel, explain the events in the novel, analyze the novel in terms of narrative techniques, and interpret the novel. Plot summary of Faceless. Faceless, which is Zako's third novel, contains the culture of patriarchy. The novelist presents women as the victims of battery, rape, abandonment, poverty, and economic exploitation by irresponsible fathers, husbands, and in-laws in depicting women as victims of patriarchal violence. The novelist bemoans and bewails the condition of neglected children that force children to street and women to prostitution. The narrative focuses on the heroine, a 14-year-old girl called Fufu, who becomes a miscreant as a result of her parents' carelessness and broken home. The main setting of the story is Sodom and Gomorrah, which is a part of Accra, Accra's inner city, dominated by criminals and delinquents. The story begins with Fofo's narrow escape from an attempted rape by Poison, one of the notorious street lords of Sodom and Gomorrah. After the escape, Fofo seeks out her friend, Odali, to share her horrible experience. Since Fofo is aware of her mother, Mata Suru's connection with Poison, the two friends, Fofo and Odali, go home to narrate the last night experience to Ma Tesoro. The story of Fofo's narrow escape frightens Ma Tasuru and advises Fofo to run from Accra without giving her any explanations. Initially, Fofo is confused and decides to heed her mother's advice without questioning. Fofo needs money to run away from Accra, but situation compares her to disguise as a boy and go to steal in the market. It is these criminal activities which brings her in contact with Cabria, who ultimately becomes an instrumental in liberating Fofo from the bondage of street phenomenon. Cabria, who works with an NGO called Mute, saves Fofo from jungle justice. And Cabria shares the experiences with her co workers who develop interest in Fofo. Mute joins with a radio station called Avest FM to investigate the phenomenon of the street children in Accra. Their research unravels the causes and problems of street kids and, most importantly, the mystery of baby T's death for four sister and also a street kid. It is discovered that Matasuru's life and intersection of her irresponsible husband push her four children into the streets as beggars, thieves, errand boys, and prostitutes. Also, Mata Suru and her foolish husband, Nin Kipako, push Baby T into prostitution in attempt to protect her from continued sexual abuse by uncle, a deceitful relative. 
Further investigation reveals that baby T's death is caused by poison and onco in the subplot of the novel. The experiences of family life of Cabrera's children and husband provide a sharp contrast to what is obtained in Matisuru's family. In other words, Cabrera's children are well fed, decently dressed, and properly educated. We will pause here briefly. Student, welcome to the second segment, which is Teams of the Novel, Faceless. A. Betrayer of Trust. One, Faceless reveals the bitter experience of Matt Tesoro. Kue, who is her first husband, cajoles her until he raises four children through her and runs away leaving her to take the responsibility of four children. Two, Nayomo reveals that when Matasuru's mother was pregnant, the young man responsible for the pregnancy denied it. On the day of delivery, Matasuru's mother died with a powerful causes on the head of her deceitful husband. Three, Matasuru's second husband Niki Pako raves his stepdaughter, Baby T, when Matisuru is admitted in the hospital. Four, another instance of betrayal of trust is that uncle, who Baby T regards as her uncle, rapes Baby T three times. Another thing is the tranny of patriarchy. The novel presents the conditions in which the affair between men and women is one in which women are scapegoats of various types of physical and psychological violence. One, women are victims of rape. Uncle rapes baby T, who is 12 years old. Poison almost rapes. Fufu. Niki Pako sexually abuses baby T. Two, women are victims of battery. Kwe beats Mata Suru to the point that she loses her pregnancy. A woman phones Slivapo that her father, beginning of quotation, beat us up indiscriminately our mother included. End of quotation, page 182. Three, women as victims of abandonment. Kwe and Niki Pako run away from Matasuru after exploiting her sexually and sending all her four children to streets. See, another thing is Street children. In the Good Morning Ghana show, the invited guest, Miss Kamame, points out some of the factors responsible for the street scene, like poverty, ignorance, absentee fathers, distorted belief, and misplaced priorities. Some examples of street children are 1. For false elder brothers who, by the time they struck them, were running errand at the seaside and fish market. Page 156. Fofo has been rejected and pushed into the street to fend for herself and her family before she reached 14 years old. 3. Otherly's mother sack her like a fowl when she goes to see her. She says that Otherly is a thief. Four, Poison is a complete gentle boy at his early age, but he decides to run away from home at the age of eight because of his stepfather's brutality. On the street, the children engage in alcoholism, sex, odd jobs, 
begging, stealing, terrorism, drug, and fighting. Another theme is superstition. The prominent examples are one, Kue's mother believes that the cause that Matasuru's mother put on her father and generation is still on Matasuru. Kue's mother discouraged her son not to marry a cause woman. Two, Uncle believes that his business collapses because he had sexual intercourse with baby T, the daughter of a caused woman. Three, Ese was born at midnight. Capria ignored the age-old superstition that alleged midnight born grew up with their feet every year. Students, we will pause here briefly. Students, welcome to the third segment, which is style and narrative techniques of faceless. One, meticulous descriptions. The novelist writes graphically and explicitly about any event in the novel. Dako vividly describes how Onko rapes Baby T does. Beginning of quotation. Onko pushed an unsuspecting and too trusting Baby T onto his bed. Pin her down. Force a handkerchief inside her mouth and turn off her pints. Three times Onko did it and left her bleeding on his bed. End of quotation. Page 139. Two, use of contrast. There is a powerful contrast between poverty stricken life of street children and nurturing home of Cabrera, an educated and middle class woman. Two, also the responsible sleeve poor, Adade, and Naomo's husband are compared with Niki Paco, Kue. Onko and poison, who are devils incarnate, bullies, irresponsible fathers and husbands, rapists and exploiters. Three, the impeccable characters like Cabrian, Vicky, Dina, Agie, and Kamame are compared with retired prostitutes like Mama Abidjan and Mami. Be running. Another aspect of style is third person omniscient point of view. The techniques makes it easier for the novelist to reveal the pathetic and gripping story of children plunged into the streets by poverty and parental neglect. The readers have access to the psychological oral of Fufu and a dream. Another aspect of style is flashback. Some examples are Poison was a gentle boy but was forced to become a street child at the age of eight. Two, now Yomo narrates how Matasuru's mother causes Matasuru's father three the activities of onko who pretends to be kind is presented through the flashback another aspect of style is the use of irony the good examples are one onko is regarded as a generous man but ironically he destroyed baby t's life by raping her three times in a day. Two, when Fofo steal Cabrera's purse, Cabrera's material insist takes over and ironically, she invents a name for the boy, calling him Tete. 
Cabria is unaware that Fufu is a girl. Three. A parcel of shit is brought to dinner by a smiling service man. Without suspicion, dinner opens the parcel only to shriek and dart off to the toilet where she dropped the offending person. Likely examination questions. One, male characters in the novels are reprobates. Discuss. Two, examine the activities of moods in the novel. Bibliography. Fanny G. S. O. 2004. Exam Reflection Literature in English for Neko and Waek. Published by Sovnese Press Limited. Lagos. Thank you and God bless.